Caprice would scratch, claw, double cross, and slaughter his way to the top of an ugly heap. And by the time he was there, his greedy eye would wander to the spoils of national control of the racket. He was surrounded by a round the clock assortment of goons. Look out, boy. Better watch your tail. Your tail just might end up in jail. There's one bad dick, he's on your trail. Dick Tracy. Say you wanna steal some scratch? Think you're quick and can't be catch? Here's a flash, you just met your match. Dick Tracy. Is it recording? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, I feel like, I feel like, oh, that's right. We use Go my ahead. protein bar. I set it on top protein of the yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There well, we you go. Ate the protein bar. But I ate my protein bar. That was a long fucking time ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it sits. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> you just eat nibble on it every week. Just a little, a little Yeah, nibble. just one bite a week. A little nibble. Well, let me turn your subtitles on. Please and thank you. There you go. So, oh, I like that it was. It started off black and white. I, I didn't. I forgot about that. The touch tone logo. Yes. So, oh, this go is ahead. one foot on the ground. Uh, yes, and this is Johnny. And this is Ashley. And welcome. To, welcome. <laughs> Today we are watching Dick Tracy from 1990, a Warren Beatty film that's just flashed in front of us. And good God, this is fucking amazing. Dude, this is one of your favorites, right? Oh, this is... Yes, absolutely. This is one of my favorite films. Yeah, as John has all of his memorabilia. I did. I pulled out... The, uh, pulled all the of surface. it out. Like, watch... Okay, so... Okay, just... I mean, I know this is a, a audio podcast, but we're going to talk about this for a second. That opening logo. Perfection. The, you got the Dick Tracy on the red wall, and it keeps panning up to the yellow hat on the wall it's and the primary colors in this i just i can't with this i can't with this i love this so much <laughs> it is so beautiful oh my word i mean look at this and then there's this okay and this is old school so this is before digital effects this so this is all fat. models yeah and then there's a matte painting right here mm -hmm. and it pans around the matte painting with some smoke and stuff all kinds of fun stuff and this is all in camera so mm -hmm. this is all like you know what I mean? Like, not special effects. This is all There's the model right yeah. in front of us, right there. And then it's going to scan down. It's going to go past a beautiful sunset. <laughs> oh, do we already see the sunset? Maybe it happens later. Maybe. Like, it, it, it scans the camera. It's so gorgeous. It's like, this is, this is the kind of films they don't make anymore. Because now they just have yeah. special effects like digital uh, computers. So they don't yeah, it's worry also about. Cheaper. They don't worry about that. And this is the other thing. We haven't even started the film. <laughs> this is just the opening <laughs> credits. <laughs> this is how amazing this film is. So. Go ahead. What do we need to know about Dick Tracy? Do you need to know anything? Uh, well, I know that Dick Tracy started off as a, a funny, a funny page. Well, yeah, it was a comic strip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 1931. Now, see, look at you. You're, you're, you know more than I do about that. <laughs> I, uh, I dabble. I dabble in comics, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I was not aware of Dick Tracy comics or anything until this film came out. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I, there was a, I know there was a TV show before. There, it. Yes, there was an animated series. Well, yeah. I actually think there might have been a live action well, something all right. or other. In the... So I did read about it earlier okay. today. So I do know that oh, there was one please. made in 1937, which I thought Is was Is that like... live action? Yes. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. I knew there was something like that at some point. Yeah, the people have tried to like... Is it too loud? Remake it. Is it? Well, the guns are... <laughs> <laughs> they want As... you to know bitches are dying! <laughs> 
<laughs> Which I'm going to talk about that in a second too. But anyway, keep going. Well, I, all right, yeah. So I know that I've tried to attempted to redo Dick Tracy in several mediums. I know there was a radio show on mm-hmm. the com. There was like the funny page series, and then it was a, a comic after okay. the 1937 film. Um, and there was a video game for it as well. But I, uh, what I was reading is that it before this, I think the video game was. Or after. was it a tie-in with I this? think it was... Or it could have been a tie-in. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I do know nothing has really been done since well, and, because of uh, uh, because Warren Beatty now owns the rights. You're getting into my, my gritty stuff. So, oh, my bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> part of, the, that's part of the, the fun of this. So, mm-hmm. well, first of all, let's just talk about for a second the fact that he had... Um, Warren Beatty made this film, obviously. And it and was kind of stars. In the he film. also stars in the film as Dick Tracy. Of course, he's going to give himself the <laughs> lead part. And he, he's a handsome man. He actually looks pretty good for Dick Tracy, I think. Uh, and he looks good in that outfit. The outfit's amazing. <laughs> uh, Eat Lead Tracy is a bullet oh, holed into the, the brick wall. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that was done by Flat Top. Which he just predict or guessed or whatever and whatever. But anyway, so <laughs> you uh, recognize the handwriting. <laughs> you recognize that that uh, that uh, I can't. I don't know what the word Go is. Go ahead. <laughs> Legibility of his writing. Uh, at least <laughs> this he can guy write. was left-handed. At least he can spell. He's <laughs> the only left-handed. He's crook. the only left-handed <laughs> crook in the city. So and look at every all the makeup. It's just anyway. I was gonna say so at the table in the very opening. Mm-hmm. Like, what is that, five? I don't know how, pe- uh, how many people play poker at a time, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, here, you can do five. Here, we got another shot. Maybe the sun shot happened at the very opening. I think but it there's did. another matte painting shot, and look how it's going to... It's going to pan around the mat, mm-hmm. and then, ooh, we're going to focus in right here on this beautiful purple-lit street. The little <laughs> cars moving. I mean, isn't that amazing? It's beautiful, it's yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. God, and there's Madonna. Of course. I've seen this dress in person, and she is a tiny freaking woman. <laughs> I, hate I hate this guy's makeup. Oh, lips? It, yeah, he yeah. Ma- it makes me so uncomfortable to see him eating those oysters. And I love him. That's, like, um, <laughs> who is that? A Sorvino, right? Uh, something Sorvino. Yes. The dad. <laughs> the dad Sorvino. Um... Madonna looks amazing in this, by the way. Let's just side note that. There's Manny Patinkin well, in the background playing the piano. It looks like prime Madonna. Yeah, this is 1990 Madonna. Yeah. So you got this blonde motherfucking curly hair. You got the makeup. You got those black eyebrows. It's the Madonna that everyone thinks about when they think of Madonna. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah. This is That is the image that you think of. Actually, it's more white hair, isn't it? Yeah, but... God, that close-up was good. Anyway, so, <laughs> <laughs> so now you know why I wanted to see this movie. Because yeah. Madonna was in it in 1990. <laughs> Little gay boy had to see Madonna. Now, okay, but I got a story about that. But let me finish about the villains because I don't want to miss that. Keep going. So he kills like five villains in the opening of this movie. Right off the bat, he kills five of the iconic Dick Tracy villains. Yeah, it seemed like they were trying to fit in all the yeah, the, Honestly, that's, what, villains. Was, that's yeah. what he was doing because it was like, well, this might be the only chance we get, so let's put as many of these things in here as possible. Yeah. And then he kills them all. So then it was like, well, if you yeah, did a lot of want to do a sequel, <laughs> <laughs> who would you put in it? Because you killed so many. He really does. He kills a lot of people in this movie. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, so... Um, that was kind of interesting to me that he did that. Was this movie geared towards uh, kids? I honestly don't know. That is a tricky thing because it's not for kids. It, it does not seem like it would be for it kids. It looks like it would be. Right. but It feels... It would be like another like Ted situation or... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that is kind of tricky. Yeah. Well, so, okay, so that's a good point that you bring up because uh-huh. when this came out in 1990, I was... How old was I at that point? I was... 30. <laughs> no, I was like, oh, F you. I was, <laughs> I was you what, were 10? Like 10 years old. Yeah, I was dude. 10. So, and I was obsessed. Like, I had, to, I loved Madonna. And this is like around the, because my, my mom and me with Madonna is a long, like, 
ongoing kind of history thing. Yeah, like ever since like a virgin came out, I was obsessed with Madonna, and my mom was like, "Nope," and I was young. <laughs> I mean, I was young. Yeah, because that was what eighty five or no four. I don't know something like that. it was really young. Yeah, or that was like when I was conscious of it. I guess maybe. Yeah. So I was probably like six, maybe. Sure. And oh, then, that you know that would have, that would have been around the time True Blue came out. So uh, Papa Don't Preach was a big deal, and okay. so Madonna. But I had the cassette for like a virgin. Yes, I got it from a girl at the street, and my mom was pissed. <laughs> She's like, "Ah, uh-uh, no, 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 you can't have this. This dirty ass bitch. She's not in my house." She <laughs> threw it away. So then I got a copy of it again mm-hmm. from somebody else. I don't know who it was, and I was obsessed with this. And I mean, my mom caught me in the bathroom putting eyeliner on because I wanted to look more like Madonna. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Which I cannot believe I just divulged (laughs) that information (laughs) on a public (laughs) forum as well. But uh, anyway, so I was obsessed with Madonna. I loved her so much and my mom did not like her so much. And um, so when this came out, I was like, I have to say this movie! And of course, it was a big popular movie. And yeah. where we lived, we lived in St. Mary's, Georgia, and there was like nobody. It was a small town. So when movies came there, you had to kind of go see them pretty quick. Yeah. Because it, it was probably going to go at some point. If that makes sense. Like, I mean, well, unless it was something like stupid, like Ernest Goes to Camp or something. That was <laughs> held over for 20 years. Because... <laughs> All those people loved it so much, but for everyone to see, Ernest big goes to blockbusters. Camp. It was weird because big blast, bu- 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 blockbusters. I got you. you. They Keep didn't really stay there very long. Mm-hmm. Sort of. So anyway. So anyway. So not the point. So I wanted to see. Wait, this wait, real bad. wait. Quick question. Quick question. How many screens did your movie theater have? Oh, not very many. It was like a twoplex. No, four-plex? it had more than two screens. Okay. It was like I want to say. I'm trying to think of the layout. Count them up. Maybe four. Okay. Maybe. Okay. All right. If not three. Right on. Because they were all in a row. <laughs> Actually, maybe there was only two. Now that I think about it, because that wasn't a very new building. <laughs> two yeah, screens would make it sense. Had to, yeah. It would uh, actually not. Yeah. But I three would also two. make sense for like. Because you walked in the lobby <laughs> and then off to the to the right mm-hmm. was where you went to go see the films. And I remember the Lion King. <laughs> Do you remember who owned and then there was the another, theaters? So there, I think it was just two. I have no clue. Okay. No idea. All right. That's only for my own nerd I, knowledge. It was a chain, I believe. Okay. Like an AMC or a... Or like a... Something like Cinemark that. Cinemark or... Something Carmike. like that. Carmike. Carmike is small It was town. definitely a chain, whatever yeah. it was. It had like a thing. I don't yeah. know. I mean, You're I could good. probably dig up movie tickets somewhere in my belongings. I, but, you know what? I believe that 100%. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. it's true. I, I'm pretty sure I stumbled upon a package of them somewhere. But, but finish the story. I'm sorry. Oh, so, so anyway, so I wanted to see this so bad. Mm-hmm. Mom was not having it, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm and then I became obsessed. Like every time we were out in public, there was like, and I'm kind of mad that I can't find all these things. But like, I would find the like kind of like the teen magazines, like Bop magazine, mm-hmm. or Tiger like Beat, that. Tiger Beat. <laughs> But they were, like, specifically for Dick Tracy. Okay. So you'd find all those weird things, and you had the pull-out poster. Oh, yes! <laughs> and so I had all those things, and I, I was obsessed. Like, I had to have all this stuff. And my mom was like, this is ridiculous. You're not seeing this damn movie. So <laughs> she <laughs> You so were she already collecting me. the stuff before you <laughs> yes, saw the movie? I, never saw the movie. <laughs> I had the sound of, well, not the sound. What if it was bad? Album. Didn't care. Madonna's in it. I really don't give a shit. Uh, uh, yeah, so, fair point. I forgot about a gay boy and his Madonna. So my mom bought me the novelization. <gasps> so cute. Which I still have. I'm holding it up in front mm-hmm. of Ashley now. He sure is. I got all my we'll, memorabilia we'll take, here. We'll take a picture for the Instas. Oh, yes. There's going to be pictures for the Instagram for sure. Mm-hmm. So um, I already put one on mine, but my personal one. But anyway, not the point. So... <laughs> I had to move it along, John. So, uh, so I had the novelization, and I read it, and of course, the novelization, it's like, it's almost like, you read the book, it's like, basically, probably worse than the movie, because I'm getting all the gritty details with good descriptions of it, too. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you watch, like, a a Toni Morrison movie, it's going to be different than reading the book. You know, the book, you're going to be like, oh, shit. Like, the color purple. 
way more graphic in the book than it was in the movie. Do you know what I mean? So right. it's like, well, you don't have the MPAA screening. Yeah, them. exactly. <laughs> it's like a novelization. And it was actually, it's, I was just going through it a minute ago because I wanted to find a specific spot, mm-hmm. which I'm going to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, but, <laughs> but I was reading through it and it's actually literally like I went, I'm trying to find the scene that I'm looking for <laughs> yeah. because it's in the book. It's divided into scenes from the movie. That's funny. So it's it's it, and it's yeah. almost word for word. I mean, there's some stupid parts where it's like he didn't say that, <laughs> or Breathless didn't say it. sig me, like like to light to give her a cigarette. cigarette. And I was like, who says sig me? Madonna never said sig me. She well, you also have like she had the cigarette. I think you she know, did. I think right? he just lit it for, her and it was a, yeah. a lighter that was a naked lady, which I yeah. thought was fun. a good description. See, mom. <laughs> 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 Not in the movie. <laughs> but uh, it was stuff like that. But my favorite part of the book, and this is great because we're sitting by the pool in mm-hmm. our neighborhood. And my mom was there and I'm reading this book. I always have this book with me everywhere because I was trying to show my mom. Like, I'm obsessed with this fucking movie. I've got to see this fucking movie. <laughs> so I had the book with me everywhere and I was reading it and he uh, sees Breathless Mahoney at one point. I can't find the exact spot. I'm trying to find it. But when she shows up at his office, I, see, that's what I thought too. But I read that part, and it, she didn't say it. But anyway, he sees her at one point, and mm-hmm. he says, "Her skin like cream, her breasts like peaches." And <laughs> oh, is that why she says the flavor of ice cream is a uh, peaches? Where in the movie? What movie? In the movie, he's like, "Oh, Tess, um, what kind of ice cream did you get?" And he opens the door, and it's breathless, and she's like, "Peaches." Um, and it, you better eat it quick because it's uh, getting all melty or something. You know what? Maybe it is at that point. I just haven't gotten that far into the scene in my little. Or movie. maybe that movie uh, or that plot, that point in the movie is a reference to his description of her skin. Could be. Well, I think the no- I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how novelizations work exactly. Yeah, I bet uh, that had to have been written after. I would say after. Because um, if you're describing it as like, or scenes. maybe he had the screenplay and saw some shots, or you know what I mean, like yeah, something. Or they like could that. have been written in tandem, like the Kickass movie and the Kickass comic. Uh, those were written in tandem. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, fun yeah, fact about Kickass and comic go. books. So anyway, so he says that, and I read that out loud to my mom. I was like, her skin like cream, her breasts like peaches. And without my mom skipping a beat (laughs) at all, without even looking up from what she was doing, she said, more like watermelons. (laughs) 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 Because it was about Madonna. Yes. (laughs) And that was the best thing. Oh, Mom, you're so weird. But she wouldn't let me see the goddamn movie. So, of course anyway, not. so after all this bitching for almost, it had to have been almost a year of me bitching about this. Yeah. She's like, fine. <laughs> you and your dad. You're, you're still carrying around the book. You, oh, oh yeah. no. I was, okay. So that's the other thing I was going to say. I found out that mm-hmm. if you went to the screening, only if you saw in the theater, Right. If you stayed after the credits, mm-hmm. there was a music video with Madonna and Warren Beatty. And I knew exactly what it was. I was like, it's Now I'm Following You, mm-hmm. which is from her I'm Breathless album. And I was like, what the fuck? I have to see this movie! <laughs> <laughs> so then it got even more like elevated, like my obsession. Yeah, like, I was like, ah, now I have to see this. Mm-hmm. So my mom was like, fine, you can, you can go see the goddamn movie. <clears throat> so... My dad was like, we're going to take me or whatever. We got there. Gone. It had just left the theater. Oh, no. So I didn't get to see it. And then my mom felt horrible about it because she waited so long to let me go see it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Kathy Bates. Little (gasps) moment here. She's not listing the credits. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a little little fun cameo. Oh, a little fun, a little fun dude. Yeah, a little pretty. <clears throat> I love that she can't understand what Mumbles is saying, so she's like, uh, mm. Because <laughs> 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 she's, she's, she's a stenographer. We should probably say that on the yeah. podcast since they can't see a word. Right. But, um... Oh, dude, this bit with Al Pacino as... What is this? He's big. Big boy. Big Caprice. boy. Yeah. Ugh. Like, he's, he's just, so he's gross. Foul. Like, he's I foul. hate him, but like... Now, this is not what Big Boy was supposed him. to look like either. 
No, he does that, not look like this in the comics. He came up with his own makeup for this. I saw, yeah, I saw pictures of different experiments with Al Pacino, yeah. like trying to get the face. I also saw pictures because they tried to do um, face, what if blank prosthetics or whatever. They tried to do stuff for um, what's his name, Dick Tracy. <laughs> Over like Dick? Look. Yeah. Because, like, in the comics, he's, like, oh, very he's square. Very yeah. yeah, yeah. He's got a very square... Yeah. Oh, which so, like, I think he looks fine. They tried think... to they tried to do that for Warren yeah, Beatty, and then let's they, they scrapped it because it was not looking... Probably <laughs> it was not right. looking Well, all good. the villains in here look ridiculous. Yeah, but I love that. Well, they also look like they're... Like, the they look like the comic book characters. Well, you um, know, except for him. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but they all look like they're from, like, a comic as well, which I love. Yeah. And, and I love that it's just the criminals that have the makeup. The heightened sense yeah. of, yeah. It's like a prerequisite. So oh, my yes. mom promised me that when it came out on video, mm -hmm. that I would, she would get it for me mm -hmm. and that I could watch it. And then Miley Cyrus took it. <laughs> and went on tour flashback no uh, that's a call man to our vibes episode please go listen uh, so <laughs> subscribe rate and review uh, but um, no she she let me do that or whatever but I was pissed because I watched the whole and of course you know our rant about this yeah, it was in full wow. screen mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there's moments in this movie where Madonna's cut out of the frame <laughs> <laughs> especially because it's a, a, the worst <laughs> it's like god damn it mom I could have seen Madonna <laughs> she's cut out of the scene <laughs> like there's a specific dress that she wears in this movie mm -hmm. that if you watch it in the full screen she's not in the scene like Aww. you don't even get to see the outfit and i was like at all damn it i, th I think you s like a like, like a little scoach. sliver of the outfit that's one of my favorites it's so good <laughs> it's this weird thing where like her breasts are just like it's fantastic but <laughs> 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 uh, I'm pretty sure on the Blu-ray you can see it. Yeah. But um, I think it's in a montage scene. I don't even think she has a full God, scene with the dress. She's so gross. <laughs> I know. It's just like a scummy person. But all the lighting. The li this is the other thing. Mm -hmm. if, if you watch this on a regular screen without high definition, it does not look good. Standard def? Yeah, SD. Yeah. <laughs> Standard definition. Uh, because all the, the colors... You know what I'm talking about. Like, you have to have your settings perfect for this. Oh, for so it it's work. because of how vibrant it is? Yes. Yes. Because <clears throat> you got, like, the yes. blaring yellow and the red right next to mm -hmm. it. And it's like and the, the red's always bleeding. And the purple and the bright blue. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it does not look very good if you're not watching in high definition. Or on a film screen in the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that oh, the look, colors are her all boobs. solid. Is this maybe where you were That's, uh, talking about? No, 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 no. In fact, until I saw this in high definition, I didn't realize you could see her boobs. <laughs> oh, that the because when she dress walks closer, sheer. when she walks closer, you don't really see. Well, I guess <gasps> you do see a nipple oh, there. Oh, you do see a nipple. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. Well, not until I saw the Blu-ray, and then I was like, right. "Oh shit, you can totally see all of her boobs." <laughs> <laughs> not that we haven't seen Madonna's boobs before, but I mean, I hadn't well, seen her boobs before. You have right this moment. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, I've seen a lot of Madonna. You've, I think I'm you've also, also seen a, a lot of Madonna. Yeah, I'm a My nerd. mom loved Madonna. And so I was just like, okay. Are you trying to say how old I am now? <laughs> 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 no, my I mom didn't loved mean, Madonna. No, my mom still loves Madonna. I don't think no. that Madonna... Um, I think she's timeless. She, she's very timeless. She, <laughs> all ages love her at some point. That's yeah, right. actually, that might be true. Because she, she won a lot of people over with her Evita situation. God, she's so pretty in this fucking movie. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing she did this. Go ahead. You know what I mean? I feel like that with a lot of these kind of things. Like, especially if you're naked. Okay. I do believe this. Like, she did a whole sex book where she's naked romping around everywhere. And how nice is it? I can't believe it? I haven't seen Madonna's how? boobs before today. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of weird. But <laughs> I think everybody in the world sees Madonna's boobs except for you. <laughs> Uh, her post, her post having children boobs. Ooh, post pregnancy boobs. Totally weird. The right? first time I saw those, I was like, "What the fuck happened to Madonna's boobs?" Because wow. she used to have tiny little nipples. You just mm -hmm. saw them. Yeah, they were 
they were, little, they were but she's got these areolas like a motherfucker now i'm like well that's because like you know what? she got like beings like you know yeah i'm sucking all those bitches <laughs> <laughs> but yeah she she posed in uh what was it interview magazine i have it whatever it is i don't know but <laughs> i wouldn't boil it of course. absolutely of course. but um and i saw i was like whoa and i had to ask my friend wendy because i was like what happened to her fucking boobs? Was <laughs> she, she just let babies be sucking on them? Yeah, she's like, that, that's what happens after you have kids. And I was like, I had no clue. Mm-hmm. Like, I had no idea. And it was weird to me that I hadn't seen Madonna's boobs since then. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that was <laughs> even weirder. <laughs> even weirder. It's been quite some time. It's been quite some time <laughs> since she has exposed her breasts. Uh, <laughs> good for her. Oh crap! I keep forgetting to drink. Well, I have so much to talk about talking, with this movie, so I'll just keep drinking. Well, you you'll get. Oh, well, I'm also talking. That was your moment to drink. You're welcome. Oh shit! I'm is there. that a little Japanese logo? I have no idea. John is currently drinking a Pabst Blue Ribbon from Japan. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's cute. Look at that. That's, I thought it was America's Park beer. Yeah, I'm having a Pabst Blue Ribbon because we got tons in the fridge. We live in uh, Tampa, Florida. Mm-hmm. We just celebrated a Gasparilla, so mm-hmm. we always pack our fridge with tons of beer and lot, lots of PBR because it's the cheaper it's the, one that yeah. we can just have on hand if we run out of good stuff. Oh, there's a... Uh, there's, um, Tell me. Tell me. Oh, my God. Tell me. Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dickie Van Dyke. He looks good in this, too. Doesn't he? What yeah, happened? Is he? Did he pass away? Is he still alive? Uh, I think he died. Did he? Like two years ago. Really? I mean, unless I'm thinking of somebody else. Who knows? Who knows? They all come. Yeah, I really, I really don't know. Go. So, did I finish all my stories? Uh, Madonna's I, breasts. Honestly, full totally. screen. Mm-hmm. Music video, not at the end credits. <gasps> That's oh, what I was going to say on oh. the VHS. Now, do you know what's even more frustrating about this situation? Did the V all right, did the VHS had um, Oh which by the way, VHS is right, is right here. here. No, it's, no. Oh what a what a cute little Isn't two thumbs cute? up. This picture is in, is extraordinary. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gross. Best comic strip movie yet. Great movie making. Brash. <gasps> Irresistible. Gross. Fun. Hysterically funny. Hysterically funny. That's I, a weird comment. <laughs> that's two of the you don't need both. <laughs> I love that it's sideways. It looks like a postcard. Yes. And then on the oh, front, you it's do regular. love postcards. Well, of course I do. Ooh, I love this. The you still have the the, the touch tone yeah. tape. Yeah. Girl, you know it. <laughs> oh, my little Dick Tracy. Oh, you're a little dick. My little, my little dicky, little <laughs> dicky boo, little dicky boo, little dicky boo. So, <laughs> did you? All right, rockin', rockin' rabbit or no, rabbit roller coaster. No, oh, the, rabbit. The, the, the rabbit. The, the Roger Rabbit. The Roger Rabbit short. That I played before the movie. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get to see that either. Not until That's it not came a, out. Is that on the VHS? No. <gasps> Wasn't, I didn't get to see that until the damn Blu-ray of Who Framed Roger Rabbit came out. Because <laughs> <laughs> Roger Rabbit came out before this movie, right? Or they came around, out no, around uh, the same Roger time? Roger Rabbit was definitely 1988. So okay, yeah. uh, two yeah. years in between. So, and then but this Roger Rabbit was super popular, so there was lots of shorts that came out before Touchtone films for yes. years afterwards. And I want to say there was what maybe four shorts because Honey I Shrunk the Kids had one, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. No, that's definitely correct. Definitely, and then or is it just this Looney one had Tunes? one? No, 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 no. It was Roger Rabbit. No, yeah, it was Roger Rabbit. Yeah, because that was Touchtone. It yeah, was a Disney movie. God, I haven't seen that in so long. I wonder if that holds up. Do you know how bad that would be? I to watch love that? Rick Moranis, but that's probably because I love Little Shop of Horrors. Well, yeah, that's oh god, that's a good one. You've seen the director's cut, I'm assuming. Um, is it the one where they die at the end and the they take over, takes the world? over the world? Yeah, that, that did not was test well. They had to amazing. It. <laughs> I got that because I had the Blu-ray at one mm-hmm. point, and they had that on the Blu-ray, and I was like. What the fuck is this? Why was this not the end of this movie? <laughs> I was about to say, oh, that's why they changed it because they were no, like, because people loved were like, it. <laughs> no, that was oh man, and the special mm-hmm. effects for that—it was like all that money that you had mm-hmm. to have spent making that fucking well, they ending. Top money, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Top. <laughs> I don't know if ZZ Top's expensive because one of the dudes was in Bones. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, he yeah. was like he Angela's was the, dad. Yeah, Angela's yeah. dad. God, that was a good show. I love that show. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> we were talking about Roger Rabbit. And, oh yeah, you were gonna say the, yeah, the well, short. Uh, who uh, who else owns the rights to Roger Rabbit? Is it Spielberg or Lucas? Oh, Roger Rabbit. I have no idea. I want to say it's Spielberg. I'll look at Roger out, like, Rabbit's tricky because that was. Because it had a lot of Looney Tunes characters in it. Well, no, I meant like... So that, that's why there was never a sequel. Because there was supposed to be a sequel, but it was going to be way too expensive to make because of all the cameos that were in it. They couldn't afford it. That's a lot of, it's a lot of cameos. Well, I mean, even in the original, yeah. there's tons of them. And I think the only reason they agreed to it was because they didn't think it was going to do that well. And then it did well, and it was like, oh, holy I shit, guess I'll be in your we should have asked film. for more money. <laughs> but of course, all the Disney, you know, obviously they have those because Disney Touchtone made the film. So. Who does the voice of Roger Rabbit? Uh, Kathleen Turner is Jessica uh, Rabbit, right? Yeah, Kathleen is Jessica. Yeah. Roger, I have no idea who does Roger. I know who the animator um, of Roger Rabbit, like Roger, you know, like the guy who did Roger. Yeah. He uh, ended up doing a film that was originally called God. I can't remember. Maybe. Well, I think it was. I think. Well, maybe it was the Thief and the Cobbler the whole time because mm-hmm. I think it eventually came out as the Thief and the Cobbler. But they it was called Roller Coaster Rabbit. They fucked that up so bad. It would have been a brilliant masterpiece, but they it was taking him way too long to animate it, and he was animating a lot of it himself and. <laughs> Oh my mm-hmm. god! If you ever see, and there's a, a a cut that came out on the internet where he put together all the sequences that he had been working on, Ooh. and he re-edited the way it was supposed to look. And good god, that was amazing! I was like, why didn't you get to finish this? <clears throat> now here's this seductive little scene where Madonna comes in to see Dick Tracy. Well, Breathless Mahoney. I'm sorry, she's playing a part here. <laughs> She's She's not coming to see Madonna. She's acting. (laughs) She comes to see Dick Tracy. And I remember specifically, there's this uh, article uh, in Vanity Fair. You know how Vanity Fair does their Hollywood issue? They always have like the people, the composers, the artists, the blah, blah, blah. And they have all the little photo shoots. Well, they had one with the composers and Danny Elfman, his little blurb under it says, yes, I'm the one who uh, scored that slinky walk that Madonna does a, across Dick Tracy's desk or whatever, something to that effect. Okay. And I was like, um, what? did you not watch your movie? Because you did not <laughs> score anything under this. It's completely silent right now. Yeah. <laughs> other than the noise of them acting. Maybe he didn't realize he got cut and it was a very embarrassing <laughs> moment Maybe for him. Maybe he did. He was like, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, like, I did that. That's in print now, Danny. Pitch perfect score under Madonna crawling all over the table. And then crickets. And then crickets. Is that a Madonna figure? It is. I have a little Breathless Mahoney figure. She's our... I I those John- breasts like peaches. <laughs> 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 like honestly, those those breasts are more like watermelons. Yeah, totally. Those are, yeah. totally those like are not even those are like fucking huge. Yeah, that's, that's absurd. I uh, another thing I had read since I was reading about uh, comic booky stuff the mm-hmm. the action figures they made for Dick Tracy. Um, it was like the similar molds to um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yeah. beforehand. So they, the arms are like out and the Ridic- legs are yeah, like yeah. far If apart. you ever see the toys for, I mean, even this yeah. one. No, I ridiculous. looked at them. No, I was just thinking that. I was like, she's really broad shoulders. Uh, but, but no, like the villains especially like, yeah. look they like, look stupid. like turtles. Yeah. I never collected all those. I did want, they have like a, like a, like a doll. It has like plastic arms i think and it has a plastic head and shoulders and probably boobs but and dick tracy has one too and i wanted them but they look so stupid <laughs> but get it well if i ever find like, oh, that's the thing i did find them at a flea market recently mm-hmm. but they didn't have prices on it and i was afraid to ask because if i ask because i'm 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 I, you know me do you 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 show your hand well, I'm one of those people where I'm like, well, I don't want to ask because if it's too much, I'm not going to buy it. Right. So I don't want to ask because I don't want them to say it's too much. <laughs> I don't, oh, never mind. <laughs> and then you'll, Do you know what I mean? Because then I feel like an asshole. 
So I did. Or just and be now, like, oh, I wish I had the money, and then leave. And now that just guy still tell them that it's like an acceptable booth price. Is gone. Well, cleared out. I'm like, God fucking damn. Could have been two dollars a pop. <laughs> it could have been two dollars. I could have been a contender. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. Look at all those beautiful colors. Look at all those beautiful faces. That guy. That What's guy. Prune face. Yes. He looks fantastic. That's good makeup. That's good makeup. Yes. I would say the only makeups that I thought looked pretty bad were Little Face, which mm-hmm. he died real quick. He died at the beginning. Yeah. So you only saw him for a few seconds. But, Ugh. like, the way that they, head the head. way they filmed it, it just yeah. did not look right. Yeah. It's like, dude, that's a guy with a gigantic piece of plastic around <laughs> his head. Like, it does not look good. Yeah. Um, oh, it also didn't look mobile at all. It looked like they had to kill yeah, off he that like guy this, like, because, like, he I'm would not have weird been. With my shoulders at the same time. <laughs> yeah, he looked like the moon. <laughs> she was sitting real ladylike there, wasn't she? Jeez. By ladylike, you mean her legs Very were unla- spread? Her legs were spread. Spread part. She looked like a a dude. I mean. <laughs> I'm ladies can spread up. their legs. Well, ladies can do whatever as the fuck well they as want. A but dude. I'm saying for uh, a, a uh, uh, is that actually mumbles? no, it's breathless. Yeah, that's mumbles. Yeah. He's he's dropping there. Uh, <laughs> I love. I, oh god, I can't wait till they show you the, the outcome of that interview. The purples from earlier. and greens they use in this movie are very much like uh, Joker. Well, jo- jo- Joker was '89. Batman. Yes. Oh, this the, sa- the same dude directed these, right? No. Oh, the, the Tim Batman? Burton. All right, hold up. Tim Burton directed Someone, Batman. you're right. You're absolutely right, John. How, how, how is that I've even I've been a, drinking. Girl, you must be, <laughs> you must be toasted. <laughs> because if you don't remember, Batman you're was directed by Tim Burton. I know I'm trying to drink, but there's so much to talk about. You're right. And I'm just listening and drinking and forgetting that Tim Burton exists. <laughs> I almost choked on my beer. It's all that. That's ASMR for you. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking gross. <laughs> um, <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Oh, we Go gotta ahead. talk about the uh, the legal battle. <clears throat> What legal battle? The long motherfucking oh, legal battle. it was for called... The rights to Dick Tracy. Because I looked it up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I looked it up. It was Roller Coaster Rabbit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was called. Spielberg does own half of Roger Rabbit because he directed the 1988. Or he did. He was involved. Robert in, Zemeckis directed. <laughs> he was involved he in was the 1988. Producer. Okay. He was a producer. Yes, yeah. my apologies. Uh, so, yeah, it was definitely him. And then when he wanted to use uh, Roller Coaster Rabbit for, like, one of his fucking movies, like, uh, what was it? The Spider One, Anac- Anacrid? Where? No, that's oh, not uh, I said the same thing on my podcast. Did you? I said Anacrid. I was like, that's not the <laughs> word. <laughs> I'm so glad. You guys have to listen to Yeti Complex. <laughs> no six. shameless plugs, John. <laughs> Episode six. <laughs> the episode is. Has called, that come out yet? It came out today. Okay. I literally just posted to listen to it. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> it's oh god, the episode Arach- is Arach- arachnid. Arachnid. Yeah. arachnid. Oh, I can't. I can't look at the. <laughs> he, he wanted Roller Coaster Rabbit to play before or whatever that arachnid spider movie phobia. was. Yeah, um, he didn't direct that though. Did he produce that? Maybe. I don't know. He had like some sort of hand in the pot. Um, no, I and he wanted like he movie. wanted the the that Roger movie. that roller coaster rabbit there before if I, arachnophobia. If I'm remembering correctly, yes, this is the fucking dumbest yes. thing ever. I know it was that movie, which I was like, well, that feels fuck? out of place. What, yeah, what, what kids are going to see arachnophobia? Maybe roller coaster rabbit was mature for well, its time. Yeah, Roger Rabbit was kind of not for kids either. Yeah, that was more of a young adult adult kind of thing. It, it, Roger Rabbit played into the same tropes as like 90s Kinda sitcoms. Like this. Yeah, like the yeah. like the frumpy dude with like the hot wife. <laughs> oh, like Ted Bundy or not Ted Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think name? Ted Bundy ever Bundy? married. I think he like Bundy. killed all the women he loved. No, um, Ted Bundy was married? Uh, was he? Famously. That's what that new movie coming out is about. It's, about his, it's from the perspective I thought it was about wife. the tapes. Oh, okay. No, the one with Zac Efron. 
That's oh, going to okay. be about his wife. It's from her perspective. I don't know anything about Ted Bundy. And I she didn't know. Really Wait a minute. Maybe she wasn't married to him. Was she ma- yeah, she was married. I know he dated girls. She was married. Or he was married. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Oh, now I don't know. Ooh, well, whatever. Who I don't cares? know either. Uh, Either they, I mean, way, people care. nobody knew. People care. <laughs> nobody knew. <laughs> I think there's been heavy documentation. You know, I, se- I seriously, I have to say, I, I, I trashed the makeup in a previous you episode. Did. You did. But it really doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty good. Because <laughs> we are watching the Blu-ray. I mean, maybe, yeah, because we are watching a Blu-ray on a high-definition television. It's fucking huge, too. Yeah. I've never watched it on the screen. Gross. This is fucking amazing. This is probably why we noticed boobs and stuff. Yeah. Didn't notice boobs at home. No. <laughs> <laughs> and the colors are separated beautifully. Mm-hmm. Oh, so the legal battle. Yeah. So Oh, he, he stopped making a different uh short that oh, he yes, was thank producing. You. I'm sorry. He was producing a different short and he was like, You took a roller coaster rabbit for me and he didn't finish the other one. So that short never came to be oh okay so the one that yeah. was originally supposed to be for this i is that what you're saying no whatever spielberg was working on he was just like <laughs> oh he just got pissed and stopped yeah and he just got pissed and stopped because he wanted the one that went on this oh for god's sake steven like there's not a million things you could put on there you had but three fucking shows on the go ahead whatever that was warner brothers maybe well it was you talking about like Roger Rabbit? Yeah. With Bologna and their Tiny slacks. Tunes and Freakazoid. Yeah. Those are three. I, he, maybe he did more. I don't know. <laughs> Spielberg's, Spielberg's everywhere. That man is really He wanted thing. Roller Coaster Rabbit. Well, j- you didn't get it. <laughs> what do you want? He also doesn't think Netflix films should be nominated for Academy Awards. Why? Because he's a They're fucker. They're movies. <laughs> do you know, I mean, okay. I have a weird thing with Steven Spielberg. Mm-hmm. I do enjoy him. Okay. Sort of. But you also hate him? But I also don't really like him very much. He doesn't... And I don't like a lot of his movies. Like, I would have to say maybe 80% of his movies I could care less about. Like, he's just made too many for one thing. <laughs> make way too many movies. Are you counting produced or are you counting directed? Or are you well, counting if, if I'm going to produce... I mean, that's just nauseating. Well, like, your name say, doesn't have to be on every fucking thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> oh, I produced it. You weren't even there. You, you what, signed a paper or something. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, give me a fucking break, Steven. That's just like, if you ever see the trailer for Poltergeist, it's hysterical. It's like, produced by Steven Spielberg. <laughs> written by Steven Spielberg. And then when it literally, I'm not joking, you can look this up. Go oh. watch the trailer for Poltergeist. And then it says, directed by... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, who? Oh. Who directed it? Like, it, his name isn't even Robert as big. Weiss. It's like, Steven Spielberg presents Steven Spielberg wrote this movie. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. Directed by someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just mumble directed by someone else? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. It's like, fuck you, Steven. That poor guy. He's never going to get known. Watch, well, he's probably a super fit Mr. <laughs> but I have no idea who it was. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'll look it up. He never made another movie again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was slated to make the sequel to Dick Tracy. Mm-hmm. But, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, I know. So... The Dick Tracy lawsuit battle thing. Let's hear about it. Uh, I mean, it's Are you joking? It's Toby Hooper, you butt. Who's Toby Hooper? What is he He did doing? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, He's a well, brilliant director. Well, good for him. I'm glad he did other things. <laughs> what else did I <laughs> did just Texas tried, Chainsaw oh before that? Oh, my God. That. I started watching Life Force the other day. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Salem's Lot. Okay. He's done pretty good. Yeah. Eating Alive. <laughs> Yeah, but he did. Well, good for you, Toby Hooper. Texas Chainsaw is one well, of my favorite not, horror good. movies. His, nice his version of it, yeah. I'm, first I'm glad. I'm glad he I can't broke away I didn't from know that he Spielberg. did Poltergeist. I feel well, like a dummy. Do you know why he didn't? Because <laughs> <laughs> his own <laughs> probably wasn't even on it. I'm a little upset. <laughs> <laughs> it probably says it at the yeah, very yeah, end yeah, of the credits. Absolutely right. <laughs> BTW. 
Like after it says the end, it's like oh BTW. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's gonna be humor. You might weird. remember him from other Leatherface features. Well, not that Poltergeist had to have been one of his first movies. One For was, Toby, one was Texas in 1974. One was Poltergeist 1982. Really? You're off the top of my head, John. Wow, look at you. Well, I, wasn't, <laughs> let me, I wasn't. Let me double check. I was, well, no, oh, the daughter. Madonna. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Breathless. <laughs> she was playing a part. <laughs> <laughs> you're absolutely right. That's a character. I, I apologize, Madonna. Your acting was fantastic in this movie. <laughs> you know, that's the other thing. People always say, like, oh, well, Warren Beatty dated Madonna, and that's why he put her in the movie. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. I just fact checked myself. I was right. Well, of course you were. <laughs> I didn't doubt you. <laughs> um, I talk out of my butt. But no, like I think lot. Madonna did very well in this movie. By the way, she did. I really do. <clears throat> she's she's done. I think you might be. A she's biased, done well yes. in certain. Th- we've talked about this before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, swept How, away. Well, no, I always say she's good when she's directed well. Yes, she's not good when they were like, oh, "It's Madonna. Let her do what she wants." No, fucking don't do that. <laughs> you gotta you gotta tell this bitch what to do. You gotta tell her where to stand. You gotta tell her what. To shrug your shoulders, Madonna. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry. Breathless. <laughs> Put your arch I mean, man. They arch always, man yeah, but those look like nipples. Um, was her nipples what? <laughs> the pillars. <laughs> the pillars look like nipples with the her, red her, tops. Madonna's breasts are superimposed onto the background <laughs> secretly. <laughs> you know, he was supposed to d- uh, release a, like an old Disney film. <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed to release an, uh, a director's cut of this um, around. The, you remember when they did like Vista? series DVDs Vista like the production company no not yeah like they... one of Vista like like yeah. uh, Unbreakable was one of theirs yeah uh, well anyway so it was Vista series and it was supposed to be like a series of film blah, 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 special edition kind of oh like yeah cri- yeah the they're trying to be like Criterion yeah no, 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 I mean, no, yeah, know, yeah. but they're not Criterion so they can go fuck off Woo! no I'm just kidding <laughs> you are a Criterion snob <laughs> what if I like pop up videos <laughs> <laughs> well, those They're are not Criterion. Release those. <laughs> Release those on Criterion. <laughs> no, but um, that's Breathless's uh, beautiful purple car, by the way. So, yeah. Madonna, mm-hmm. my lady. Your girl. Is in a fantastic film. In a purple car. It's like, this is the best thing ever for a gay little John. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the dress she's wearing in my little figurine. Oh, yes. It's her little wispy uh, seduction dress. Her little, I've got my breasts tied into this. Look at her hair. God damn, that hair is good. (laughs) So, (laughs) (laughs) don't you want to frisk me? Oh, and Miss Sherry said. Oh, you missed the part where she said that she was, uh, the ice cream was peaches. Not yet. She hasn't shown up yet. No, Breathless says it. When she's behind the door and he thinks it's Tess. Who, Tess, by the way, love her. I think Homegirl deserves a lot of respect. When she comes in oh. here, she's like, mm, like my, I uh, love Breathless her. is all like, oh, she told me all actress. about you. And she was like, you don't know nothing about me. That actress, I mm-hmm. freaking love her. Oh, my God. She was, what was she in? She was. She was in something recently. She was. And at the end credits of one of the episodes, they gave like a dedicated to, she passed away. <gasps> Oh, God, please tell me I'm right, because I feel bad if I'm talking about the wrong person. Telling people that... I think that it's her. Glenn Heatley? That what? That's... Wait, wait, go back up. Yes, it was her. 2017. Oh, it was so fucking sad. What show was it? Is it Don John? No. It was yeah. a television series. A really good one. Mm-hmm. Future Man? Yeah, it was he Future played Man? Her, he played uh, Future Man's mom, and then like towards the end of the series or whatever oh. they said in, in loving memory of what's her name, and I was like, "What the fuck? She died!" I was so pissed. Oh yeah, but yeah, yeah, she was she was her. Uh, I, I can't believe she passed away. That makes me so sad. Uh, <laughs> and I'm drinking Aww. beers. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna get no. Real let's sad talk now. more about it. No. Uh, but I love her in this. But he originally cast somebody else as his part. And he as had a part. lot of as trouble Tess's as part? Tess. Yeah. Okay. It's a famous actress. I can't remember which one. But um, he wasn't... Uh, there's differing stories on what happened. Most people say that it's because she wouldn't have sex with him. 
So she fired her, or he fired her. Wait, Oof. yeah, he fired her. Classic move. Classic move. But, um... Oh, I like those trolleys. I love the moon in every scene. Look at that. that it is look a at big, that. full moon. Look at this. Look at the uh, matte painting. Whoever got the job painting these. I mean, just good for you. That's a <laughs> job, man. That's a job. Now, Mandy Patinkin. Have we talked about Mandy Patinkin yet? No. I fucking love Mandy Patinkin. Why? Well, first Tell of all, me. I think he's hot. <clears throat> Which I know you might think, what? But he's fucking hot. Like me in particular or like... Just in general, Everyone. people are going to be like, what? Well, if you haven't seen fucking Mandy Patinkin and Yentl, y'all don't even know, bitch. Uh, that man is hot in that movie. Oh, I mean, I know, he was in I know you're watching it for the Barbara Streisand and the good song. <laughs> but then when Mandy Patinkin comes running naked out of a fucking pond, it's like, good God, with his Jewish curls all wet. Oh, my God. It's the hottest thing ever. Woo. <laughs> Girl, I saw that damn. this guy just referred to him as 88 Keys. Mm-hmm. I thought he was just a piano guy. <laughs> thought well, he was Piano Man. I thought that was his name. No, no, 88 Keys. That's his name. Yeah, no, but doesn't Al Pacino refer to him as the Piano Man? Probably, because he's Cause an he, ass. he plays the piano and he's like, so he's playing better already. <laughs> Ooh, perfect Pacino. That's the best Pacino. Better <laughs> <laughs> than Pacino does Pacino. Look at those pores on his fake makeup. Maybe not 100% great, but <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> those are some big-ass pores. <laughs> they are a bit. So, oh, the legal battle. So what happened was Let's they made it. this movie, and there was a legal battle mm-hmm. between uh, Warren Beatty one of the rights... <clears throat> well, I mean, he had the rights to make the movie. Right. But then he wanted the rights to he wanted, further like, the situation. Rights? He wanted the rights for... I mean, look at the merchandise sitting on my bed. Well, it's a lot. He wanted the fucking rights. So, now, I'm not technical. I don't know anything about legal shit. But I do know that it took until, what, maybe last year or the year before or something... I'm bad with years, too. Okay. It was very recently that he finally <laughs> settled the dispute, and he now has the rights to Dick Tracy. It took that long. This movie oh, came wow. out in 1990. It's 2019 now, but obviously I think that it had to have happened like maybe 2016, 17, something like that, mm-hmm. that he finally settled it. So now he has the rights and he can make a sequel. Now, it's interesting because... Right around the time that he got this, the rights back, they made that movie, um, I want to get this right, Gangster, Gangster Squad? What's that? <clears throat> it has Sean Penn. Oh, Sean Penn. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. And the hot... It released in 2016? I don't know. I don't know. Me and Melissa saw it, I think, in the theater. That doesn't help our audience. <laughs> Not one bit. But Melissa, if you're listening, please call in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Melissa, if you're listening, could you please dial 1-800-no-number? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Gangster Squad um, was in 2013. Uh, and So he got the rights after that. But... I'm pretty sure this was the movie because the, the, the Dark Knight came Does out. Does it have uh, Sean Penn in it? Is oh. Sean Penn in this movie? Yes, that's it. That's right. the one. But uh, what, what Dark Knight came out around this, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then that um, was the Dark Knight Rises, or was it Dark Knight? I couldn't even tell you why we went and saw Gangster Squad. Not even a movie that I would particularly want to go see. What? All right. So the Dark Knight came out, and it had that shooting. And mm. not cool. I not a that, cool situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but one of the first things we had to do was delete the Gangster Squad trailers from all of the movies before um, the the movies oh, were playing. Shit. Because in Gangster Squad, there was a scene in the trailer where somebody was shooting in a movie theater from behind the the screen. The screen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It was like it was like a huge deal. It probably was because it would be in poor taste. <laughs> like, I got to some follow fun facts. The Dark Knight. I got some fun that. facts that. for you in a minute. Mm-hmm. But. First, first we're gonna watch Breathless. Gonna, is, well, is that uh, what this is? Well, that too. 
Ooh, bugs bugging. Bugs, bugs bugging. Buddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> different you know company. Different company. Different bug, company. Right? Different company. <laughs> Oh, is it? Is his name Bug? Yeah, because he's, ah! he's, he's bugging the he's bugging the place. Look at you knowing he's... the names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad with names. I told you, I told you when we watched Hercules that I would watch this movie. I know, you. and that's why we're watching yeah. it now because I listened to that. And I was like, oh yeah, we talked about yeah, like oh yeah, <laughs> she made a promise. <laughs> and I honestly <laughs> wondered, like, when I posted that and listened to it, I was like, did she watch that that day? <laughs> <laughs> I listened to Meg's song and I watched Dick Tracy. <laughs> I watched Dick, Tra- Dick Tracy in parts though because like, well, no, no. like I'm starting to feel like age hit me, and so like I can't I can't watch I can't sit in like a full movie and not fall asleep. I I agree. I'm the same way. It's amazing yeah. that we're doing this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> The fact that we're not taking naps yeah. in between. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we edit them out. Yeah, we, we edit the naps out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Snuck in there a little bit. <laughs> John, you just cut it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, anyway, so he got the rights back. Yes. And But my thought was, mm-hmm. you know, this might be why I even looked up the legal battle. Because I don't even know how I would have known about it unless I looked it up. Mm-hmm. But, because I'm not that obsessive like about this, one. this whole thing. That's a good beer. Yeah. It's... Oh, yeah. What do you have? Did you tell them? I, I didn't tell anybody what I was drinking. So the first one I had was a, I think John had this on our yeah, well, yeah, episode I did. or before. The one I can't An say. episode. The Key Billy? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it correctly. From Brew Hub? And now I'm working through, well, I just finished um, the MIA <laughs> Beer Company, the Miami Weiss. Um, very good beer. I like it that It is one. a very good beer. But what drew me to it was obviously the Miami, like, colors. Oh, Like, yeah. the early 90s, like, the pink and blue. All their cans yeah. make me want to buy them. Yes. Which I have. And I that's purchased like all of them Perfect. Before. Yeah. Perfect marketing. <laughs> good job. They, they nailed good it. Good job. Yeah. You, you fun company yeah and your first beer was obviously a pbr yeah and, and your my, second my second one is called hop on by abita brewing Ooh, it's a juicy it's pale. A ju- juicy pale <laughs> by the way this it montage like he's a jewishy pale <laughs> jewishy pale <laughs> like, ooh, <laughs> so i would, would like man to man try partaken. that <laughs> <laughs> i want to try that <laughs> So this montage of Dick Tracy getting uh, all of the bad guys, there was a really yeah. good moment where he punches like five or six guys all together at once, mm-hmm. and they all like, fall backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're, you're real good. You're great. Oh, look at that sandwich. Wow. Uh, we haven't even talked about like the plot of the movie yet, and I just want to say that the kid, that there's like an orphan little boy that goes by yeah. the kid. Yeah, the kid. Um... He is a perfect mm-hmm. example of like how Tracy is not an adult, or not necessarily an adult, but he's not like willing to be like he's not ready. He's ready not to willing settle, to settle down. Settle down. The amount of times he's like, "Hey, can you watch this kid?" and just like leaves. Oh yeah, yeah. he books it. <laughs> yeah, and then he, he Tess just like leaves the kid. Yeah. yeah, with like the guy at the bar or oh, the look diner. At look at that! Look at that! Look at that! What? Oh, like oh, it oh. was the coffee dripping. I kept thinking, oh my god, look at that. There's like mistakes in the <laughs> in the Blu-ray. No, no, no. Like, a, oh yeah. shit. You know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Artifacts Gross. from the film. <laughs> oh, you thought it was like a I, burn mark? <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I thought it was like some kind of like... I was like, damn, dang, okay. <laughs> they like, oh, they just like... They did not that restore head. nothing. Live alone and like it, free as the birds in the trees. High above the briars, live alone and like it. I do whatever I please. When my heart desires, free to hang around or fly at any old time. No equivocation, most of all, no guarantees. That's my only motto, free of obligation, only the murmuring breeze. As an obligato, live alone and like it, why is that such a crime? Free to call the two, free to say if I'm gonna work or play, I can have the moon. But I don't have to have it night and day, 
anyway What I like is gliding Where the wind takes me to Flying high and hiding Up in a tree Live alone and like it That's the answer for me Don't come out of that tree That's the answer for me Today it seemed the world was about to end Dignity as though it would last half a year Yesterday disaster waited around the bend Well my friend, spring is here Back in business and ain't it grand Good times though Yesterday things were out of hand Now they're under control Too much. <laughs> 